south here on a hike after uh, doing a bit of writing at home. I just had to get out and walk around a bit. Of course, we had that, I guess, sort of uh, between a tropical storm and a hurricane come through. And eh, it looks like things haven't been too bad. There is uh, behind me about a quarter mile. There's a road closed. Don't go any further uh, sign up. And I guess that's the cause of this tree here. Folks could probably get around, but it would be dangerous and you might lose a tire. So there's other ways around. May as well take them. Not too bad, though. Gotta tell you, I think we kind of dodged a bullet. The, uh, the rivers were low and needed the water, so they're up to about normal now. And, well, that looks like it might have been a dead tree that would have fallen one time or another. Uh, may have taken... I think I hear a generator in the background, so maybe took the wires out for these folks. But looks like all that can get fixed. Give it time. Dog on her, huh? Tell you. Mm. I remember, God, when I was much younger. Let's see. I'll, I'll, we've seen about as much as we need to see there. I remember uh, when I lived up in uh, Forksville, Pennsylvania, there was a tornado. A, a twister that came through t um, Sullivan County, Pennsylvania, up near, it was kind of near Eaglesmere. <sighs> yeah, it was kind of near Eaglesmere in the state park uh, that was up there. And, uh, oh my God, uh, some small tornado. It wasn't a big one, probably, thank heaven. But it picked up, it went right down the a highway, a small road, much like this, that went right through a state forest and it picked up picture all these trees picture all these trees and then some for almost I would say 25 feet on either side of the road went airborne and landed in the middle of the road now we didn't know if, if any cars were caught in that uh, so just about every every volunteer fireman every uh, every farmer every woodcutter everybody went up there and started cutting through the night it took us a while and uh, thank god no one <laughs> cut their leg off with a chainsaw but oh my god eventually the people got through we all got through no one was in there thank heaven oh here comes some cars i'll look over this way so don't bother them they may not want to be on camera but picture picture this road. Is this about how wide it was and about what it looked like? Uh, except there were no trees on either side. And I mean, they were up I would say 10, 12 feet in the air. All just this, like this giant Mother Nature's pickup stick game. That's pretty much what it was like. And uh, again, it went, we went all through the night and I think about 10 cases of beer. <laughs> I recall right like we didn't cut our legs off but it was uh, oh it was a sight to behold and man there was firewood a plenty for about two years as a result of course we were all uh, all had permission from the ranger for our help to go cut whatever uh, firewood was down and uh, get it uh, get it uh, into our homes and like I said I went for about two years without uh, needing firewood. That was pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. The wife and I back then, uh, Molly, we had uh, we had a wood stove, a cook stove, and so that was great. Man, I don't think we had too much of an oil bill up there, again, for about two years. It was certainly reduced, cold as it might get up in that place. But again, I'll turn back. I, I don't think it'll be too long. They'll have that all straightened out, unless there's maybe a worse... Uh, uh, maybe a worse situation where maybe a couple of trees fell further down. I didn't want to go past. It might make someone nervous. So, seeing what about have to see. Anyway, we'll see you later, friends. God bless. And I hope your uh, experience with the storm wasn't too bad. I know in our case, it filled the river to normal. And uh, there's lots of little hunks of uh, kindling all over the yard. <laughs> All will be well. See you later.